Hi guys, I'm just trying to, all right, I think that's good. I should have done that before. Hello, um, maybe, I mean, I know it's not the greatest camera work. <laughs> it's freezing in here. <clears throat> oh, it's cold. Um, so I wanted to discuss a little bit about old patterns and, um, old destructive patterns, uh, and sort of like how to, like, not how to, but sort of recognizing, uh, even though like it's cold, <laughs> Um, recognizing the opportunity to change them. Um, one of my destructive patterns, and this should not have gone in the law, in the in the dryer at all. That's misshapen now. <laughs> okay, yep. Well, whatever. It's gonna. It is what it is, guys. So uh, the other thing that I'm working on is like it's okay that I'm feeling that, but right now let's talk about patterns. One of my destructive patterns has always always been my behavior, feelings, whatever about men, specifically romantic affiliations. Um, and so they've never been good. They've, they've led me into a lot of problems, a lot of problems, a lot of bad problems. <laughs> And always, I always end up feeling like worse about, like way worse about myself. First off, okay, one of the things is trying to fix it, right? Like if something, like even if it's a made up thing in my head, I will try to fix it. I did try to fix it. I would try to fix it. And, um, and the draft's coming in through the window. Woo. Woo. All right, and um, and it always made it worse, right? Always, even if it was there was a problem, it always made it worse um, because I was doing it from a place of panic. I would panic. It while I logically knew that I wasn't gonna die. <laughs> abandonment. A lot of people have abandonment issues. Felt like death. Um, and that wasn't fun. And it, you know, just spiraled me out further. It, it just, very bad patterns, guys. Allowing men to treat me very poorly and um, not knowing how to say no to things, but not wanting to do them. Um, not knowing that I had this one in the wash, really? Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. What were you smoking? Um, oof. Oh my goodness. So yeah, really terrible patterns. Not, like I said, not being able to say no to things that I didn't want to do, but feeling like I didn't have the right to. And that if, um, I mean, occasionally I could, but if it was a, sorry, someone just sent me something. Crap. It's work stuff. And I just, there's, I'm feeling very overwhelmed because of everything that's going on. Uh, you know, there's the personal housing crisis that I'm having and I found that to be very stressful. And then, I don't know, I just associate stress with work at this point. It's okay that I'm feeling this. This is okay to feel. It's uncomfortable, but that's fine. That's part of life. That's part of life. And I can enjoy being uncomfortable. Um, it's, it's wrinkled, but it's pajamas, so who cares? Um, so one of the things, yeah, so I, I would, I would very often, if the, if the male was particularly aggressive, I would not feel like I had, I freeze, guys, I freeze, I'd fight, flight, or freeze, and I, I'm the freeze, I freeze, it's like, and it's a dangerous thing to, that's not a good reaction to have and especially in situations like that like I didn't know what to do um and I didn't know that I, I could do anything and I didn't know that I had the right to do it not 
the right. Yeah, no, the right. I didn't, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be mean. I, I wanted to be nice. I didn't want to hurt their feelings, you know, but I mean, that's just not taking myself into consideration at all. And all oh, the feelings that you get from that, the, the amount of self respect you lose and self despising you gain just like it makes you feel I don't want to cry right now like I just I'm tired of crying guys I cry a lot <sighs> it's just really hard it feels so awful you know what I mean like people say oh crazy girlfriend or something not not that I ever went crazy but I mean like certainly texted or called more than I should um and spoke in panicked tones or pleaded. And you know, you gotta have, you gotta have comp compassion for yourself for those situations that I was, I just didn't know. I had so little respect for myself. I, it did not occur to me, a bunch of times it didn't occur to me that I could say no. I didn't know how, I mean, there's like, there's a whole bunch of reasons, but you don't know how many times I've had sex and not wanted to. <laughs> like, there have been a lot. Um, no wonder I've got trauma around that subject. So, I hope someone out, like, so when, when my relationship with the Brown was done, was over, and we said our goodbyes, that, I mean, I've never had a relationship where the thing about him, my patterns didn't show up in my relationship with him because he made me feel, he went out of his way to make me feel loved and secure. And despite the fact that we always knew the relationship was going to end and it, that would always be a topic of conversation he'd bring up. So I wouldn't get, and that was, that was because he loved me too, even though it hurt. Um, oh, I just always thought, so I thought, okay, yeah, well, sure it'll end. And, but by the time, you know, when we get there, he won't be able to, or he'll come back because he always did. Um, but it was the right to choice for everybody. It was just very sad for both of us. And since then, one of the things I said to him before he left was, because of you, I am not gonna let men treat me the way I used to do. Because of you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I, I, I've broken those patterns. In my mind, I'd broken the patterns. You know, I'm never gonna let man treat me that way ever again. And that's my intention. Um, but I hadn't had to deal with any of those thoughts and feelings for four years, more than, because before that, I had secluded myself. <laughs> I like gained a shit ton of weight, secluded myself because I was ashamed, but gained the weight so that it could seclude myself. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, and yeah, that's a, that was a cycle. That is a cycle. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dude, this cold is not good for my cough. What time is it? Okay, so. I thought I was golden. Like, I'm not going to let a man treat me that way. But, and, when it started to come down to it, the first kind of dude I ran into who caused the feelings and the, started the pattern, um, I did not handle it. You know what I mean? Like, sure, I can say I'm going to stop the pattern, but what do you replace it with if you don't know? Right? Oh, I have my warm socks. I'm gonna put these warm socks on in a minute. When they warm up, when they warm up. Um, dang, it's cold. We have the heat on. It's just my housemate has decided that he likes to have the heat really low because this room gets very hot. My my room is very hot too. But uh, the rest of the house is freezing. Um, coffee's probably iced coffee by now. That's nice. So when I first came up against this pattern again, I had met somebody on a um, virtual networking meeting and we had like a one-on-one, -on -one, 
right? And um, and during during it, he was very aggressive. Um, he, thankfully, he didn't live in Massachusetts. He lives down in New Jersey. Um, but he was very aggressive about, you know, the first thing out of his mouth was like, do you have a boyfriend? And then the second thing was like, why don't you have a boyfriend? <laughs> like just, just a lot of, it was very, very aggressive. And I did keep saying like, I'm not in, I'm not looking for anything right now. I'm, I'm actually actively not doing anything right now. I, I'm, you know, if you want to be friends, we can be friends, but that's it. But he kept doing it. And I didn't know how to stop that. Like I, and I honestly, again, it did. It wasn't like I thought that I could. I just was. Also, the thing is, I um, you know, we all have a balance of masculine and feminine energy. Um, my energy, I believe. I mean, I do have plenty of masculine energy, but I do think, on the whole, I present very femininely. Or. Femininely ish. I don't know. That's my impression of myself. I don't. I don't really know. I don't have a an, an objective viewpoint on that one. Um. But I feel very. When a man is very masculine and very aggressive, I get very overwhelmed feeling. Like I'm like oh. Um. You know, and you and you want to feel wanted. You know, this guy wanted me. Um, but obviously not for any good reason, <laughs> not for any reason that I wanted him to want me for. Um, so, but I didn't, I didn't recognize it. I didn't really, I, I, ha I felt the old feelings, but I didn't, it didn't set off an alarm bell. I just thought, oh, he's a nice guy. Cause that's the thing guys. I assume people are great people no matter what. Um, oh gosh. I just, I just, I, I go on that assumption until I'm proven wrong. And it takes a while for me to believe that someone is not good. Like, I mean, it's, it's like, I trust immediately. And then even when I'm shown reasons not to trust, I assume they're a good person and I'm misinterpreting it or they're having a bad day or whatever the case may be. It takes me a while to, it has taken me in the past, taken me a while to recognize the signs and not to immediately trust everyone <laughs> or at least you know what I mean like I guess you can go about liking everyone when you when you first come into contact and not trusting them right away you gotta find out who they actually are as opposed to who I want them to be ding 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 um anyway so I, I spoke with this, this is like a really long drawn out story. I spoke with this guy uh, and you know, he's like, oh, I'm gonna come up, my brother's in, New, in Massachusetts, I'll come up sometimes, we can see each other. I'm like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then, um, and then I talked to a friend, I talked to Robin about it. I was like, oh, it's so funny. He, you know, he, uh, I kept saying, I wanna be friends. And he was like, my objective is to make out with you. Isn't that funny? And she's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm like, no, but he's a nice guy. And she's like, no, he's not. And it's like, not. Nah. But and it took me like three days to really come to the conclusion that she was right and, and recognize that this was a pattern in my life. Um, like three days, guys, I, I'm a slow processor. Um, and, you know, I, I I had a, uh, at one point I had a, a chakra bus and I was telling the girls about it and they were like, oh, you know, like, don't talk to him anymore. And he texted and he was like, the text was actually, how you doing, right? And I was like, what do I do? And they're like, block him. And I'm like, oh, I mean, it's just, I didn't know what to do about it. I didn't know what to do and I wanted to be polite. <laughs> Dangerous combination. Um, so I realized, I recognized that pattern. I, I blocked the guy <laughs> and um, I was like, okay, well now I know what to look for and how to go about saying no to that. Um, and now I've come up against another pattern and that is, I really need to go to, uh, this is taking so long because I'm, I'm distracted with my laundry and I have to go to, 
uh, 52 weeks to well now. Um, but I, I discovered another pattern and I'm working on it and I will come back and talk to you about it later. This is probably, you shouldn't even watch this video because it's, it's just me babbling. That's, that's rude. No, it's not me babbling. It's just me talking and not getting to the point. Um, so I don't know. I got to go to 52 weeks. I have lots of mass unmatched socks, but that's okay. They're probably not. <clears throat> um, and for now, I'm just going to remind you guys that even if you have old patterns that you need to break, that you can't always choose to have a grateful day.